If you wondered why President Obama would inflate somebody as ultimately peripheral to the actual dynamics of American politics as Rush Limbaugh by referencing him personally, tonight you may have gotten your answer. CPAC, last week's conservative political action conference, the gift that still keeps on giving. On Saturday, keynote speaker Limbaugh issuing his self-described first national address before an adoring crowd in Washington, calling on right-wing conservatives to take back the country and defending his remark about wanting President Obama to fail. Limbaugh comparing that, his desire to see the president fail during the nation's economic equivalent of 9-11 as nothing more than cheering for the Steelers over the Cardinals in this year's Super Bowl. RNC Chairman Steele among those Republicans distancing themselves from Limbaugh's remarks. Steele also chafing at the suggestion that a comedian, other than him that is, is now leading the Republican Party. You have your view, I have mine. We don't need incendiary rhetoric. Exactly. Like, like, like Rush Limbaugh, who is the de facto leader of the Republican Party. He's no, kinda, it's not. Well, I'll tell you what. I've never heard anybody... I'm the de facto anybody, leader of the Republican Party. Then you know what? <laughs> then, then I can appreciate that. But Rush Limbaugh is an entertainer. Rush Limbaugh, his, his, his whole thing is entertainment. Yes, it's Republican incendiary. Party, right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ugly. Limbaugh saving his response for his radio program this afternoon, ranting for 20 minutes, alleging that Chairman Steele cares more about being a pundit than about running the party. Michael Steele... You are head of the RNC. You are not head of the Republican Party. Tens of millions of conservatives and Republicans have nothing to do with the RNC, and right now they want nothing to do with it. And when you call them, asking them for money, they hang up on you. It's time, Mr. Steele, for you to go behind the scenes and start doing the work that you were elected to do instead of trying to be some talking head media star, which you're having tough time pulling off but it seems to me that it's michael Steele who is off to a shaky start yes it's, it's ugly but it seems to me that it's michael Steele who is off to a shaky start